having that I'd won a lot of races going into the Giro, whereas my partner Vizentini hadn't won races going into the Giro, I felt well I had maybe an upper hand on him. But um, I very quickly realised that as regards my teammates, I was going to be a little bit on my own because basically they only wanted an Italian win. So, uh, but I got the jersey first of all after three or four days and I held it for eight or nine days until he finally got it off me after beating me in a time trial. And then I really realised that I wasn't at all uh, part of the team, that it was basically the team was here to work for Vicentini. But um, Vicentini, when he was interviewed, after getting the jersey off me, he very politely said, well, OK, Roach is going to ride for me now. Um, I've got the jersey. And um, when the journalist said to him, well, that's OK, but you're going to ride for him in the tour, he said, no, I'm going to the beach for the tour. So at least being honest. So I thought, OK, there and then I've got to do something about this because I don't want to... I want a, a, f a nice fight, but I don't want to go down and just be out fighting. So I had to look at changing my strategy, look at when the best point would be to get the jersey back from Vizentini without attacking him. So I basically started the next day with a very long descent before the final climb, and I went down there very, very fast, I mean extremely fast. And um, Vizentini couldn't follow me, and uh, I ended up taking some more time out of him. And Vizentini then got so nervous, the fact that I was ahead of him, he kind of he blew his brains and he lost six minutes and uh, from worrying about me being in front and uh, I got the jersey back and held it down for the final 10 days.